basketball, volleyball na yale michezo mingine. Na tumeona wale wanatakana kuongoza sekta ya mchezo katika taifa letu la Kenya wameweka mchezo mwingi ndani ya mchezo. Na hiyo hatutakubali kwa sababu kukiwa na ufisadi, kukiwa na utepetefu na kuzembea kwa usimamizi wa e, mambo ya sporti katika taifa letu la Kenya mavijanana mayutu sana sana huwa ndi wanaumia kwa sababu wengi wanategemea kulipa kodi kujikimu kimaisha kukimu familia zao na nafikiri jambo ambalo nimesikitisha sasa ni uh, ile uh, ile ambaye ni management katika basketball uh, katika Kenya na najua basketball kwa watu wengi hasa wengi wengine wetu ambao tulisomea shule za kifahari basketball ilikuwa mchezo wa wale cool kids so eh, ukiona nafikiri wa Kenya wengi wataelewa okay, most of our generation it's basketball many people thought that it is a, a game that was played by cool kids or eh, wale mavijana mayoyo ama wale walikuwa natoka tao nafikiri ukiuliza shule kama nyakimicha uweze kupata mambo ya basketball but tunataka pia wapate so these are going to be a very brief statement statement on the road of the management of basketball in Kenya in the past few days we witnessed the cancellation of Kenya basketball activities including the premier league by the sports dispute tribunal std due to non compliance by the Kenya Basketball Federation in several matters the Kenya Basketball Federation has lacked as transparency and accountability in its activities and management of this sport. They have failed on several occasions to produce copies of audited accounts, neither have they filed their tax returns with Kenya Revenue Authority or KRA on their expenses. And mark you, this is taxpayers' money, and everybody must account for the taxpayers' money. The unprecedented suspension and resumption of the league seriously affect the players who depended on the league for the upkeep since the Federation has never set up any allowances and reward scheme for the players, yet they work so hard only to be rewarded by playing at Nyayo. That is what we call Nyayo fame. Even despite the National Basketball's men's team, the Morans, finished second at the inaugural FIBA African uh, Tournament 2019, which showed their prowess that necessitated the basketball games to be well managed and fostered in this country. This year, they are eliminated at the group stage at the same tournament. So we are discussing about men's Moran basketball team, which had qualified in 2019, but because of lack of support from the Ministry of Sports, and also ensuring that they are able to sustain themselves at this, they were early eliminated because of non-preparation. The Federation has never held any election, that is Kenya basketball in Kenya, since time immemorial. And this is not the only federation in the country that has never had elections. Go to Kenya, uh, at least valuable federation are trying, Athletics Kenya, uh, Football Federation of Kenya, FKF, and I know you attended the meeting last Thursday before the Senate committee. It is in chaos and shambles. And there are people who have stayed in those federations longer than Mugabe's of this world. So this one has become a threat in the independence, functionality of our federation and the ball. And I've said argument that international, uh, like, uh, international organizations are supposed not, to, uh, not to, to interfere. The government should not uh, check an oversight. They should because they use our taxpayers' money. So these elections have never been held. I know a, a, a member of parliament who is part of the member that have been there before, a number of individuals. And you know, we don't want to ethnicize our federations. But apparently this federation is run only by one ethnic community and they can even converse in one language. We have call upon, which means even if you look at the constitution, the constitution says every public institution must reflect the outlook of the country, as in region, religion, 
ethnicity, among other factors. But some of these federations are run by one individual from one ethnic community. And how can we fight uh, the issue of negative ethnicity, even in our sports? So I think NCIC also must intervene in Kenya Basketball Federation and ensure that as we hold elections, they must be. Therefore,